Have you ever wondered how ethical hackers protect our digital world using tools like Linux? Well, fasten your seatbelts, because we're about to embark on a thrilling journey into the world of ethical hacking and Linux. Ethical hacking, often termed as white hat hacking, is the practice of using hacking techniques to identify vulnerabilities in a system. Unlike hackers who break into systems for malicious reasons, ethical hackers use their skills to strengthen security and protect data. Now let's talk about Linux. Linux, an open source operating system, is a favorite among ethical hackers. But why? Because it offers a wide range of powerful tools and its open source nature allows customization to fit specific needs. There are several Linux distributions tailored for ethical hacking, including Kali Linux, Parrot OS, and Black Arch OS. Each of these distributions comes with a plethora of tools that make the life of an ethical hacker easier. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the syllabus of ethical hacking and the role of Linux in it. Ever asked yourself, what does it take to become an ethical hacker? Well, it all starts with understanding the basics. The first part of the ethical hacking syllabus is all about this. It's like the foundation of a building. Without it, everything else falls apart. So, let's dive into it. First, we have the introduction to ethical hacking. This is where you get familiar with the terms, concepts, and the overall landscape of the cyber world. It's about understanding what ethical hacking is and what it is not. It's about knowing that ethical hacking is done to find vulnerabilities that can be fixed before they're exploited by malicious hackers. Next, we have footprinting and reconnaissance. This is the initial phase of ethical hacking, where you gather as much information as possible about the target. It's like a detective investigating a case. The more information you have, the better you can plan your approach. This can involve anything from understanding the target's website structure to identifying their network resources. Then we move on to scanning networks. This is where things start to get a bit more technical. You use various tools and techniques to scan the target's network to identify live hosts, ports and services. It's like scanning a battlefield before an attack. You need to know where your enemy is, what weapons they have and how they can defend themselves. Lastly, we have enumeration. This is the process of extracting more detailed information about the target's network. This can include details about network shares, user accounts and even security policies. It's like getting a closer look at the enemy's camp. The more details you have, the better you can exploit the vulnerabilities. So, there you have it. The introduction to ethical hacking, footprinting and reconnaissance, scanning networks and enumeration. These topics might seem a bit overwhelming at first, but they're essential in your journey to becoming an ethical hacker. They provide you with the basic knowledge and skills you need to start exploring the vast world of ethical hacking. These are the initial steps in your journey to becoming an ethical hacker, but there's more to it. Ready to dig deeper into the world of ethical hacking? Great! Let's delve into the second part of our ethical hacking syllabus. First up, we have system hacking. Now, don't be alarmed by the term. In the context of ethical hacking, system hacking is about understanding the loopholes in a system and finding ways to strengthen those weak points. It's like being a security guard, but for digital spaces. Speaking of security, let's talk about malware threats. These are malicious software designed to harm or exploit any computing device or network. As ethical hackers, it's our job to identify and neutralize these threats. Next, we come to sniffing. This isn't about your sense of smell, but about intercepting and analyzing network traffic. It's like eavesdropping on data as it travels across the web, but with the noble intent of identifying potential vulnerabilities. Social engineering, on the other hand, is all about the human element in cybersecurity. It involves tricking people into breaking normal security procedures. As ethical hackers, we need to educate people about these tactics to prevent them from becoming victims. Now, let's talk about denial of service or DOS. It's a type of attack that overwhelms a system with traffic, rendering it unusable. Imagine a crowd of people trying to enter a room all at once. It's chaotic, right? That's what a DOS attack looks like in the digital world. Lastly, we have session hijacking. This involves taking control of a user's session to gain unauthorized access to their information or services. It's like stealing someone's concert ticket and using it to enjoy the show. 
but as ethical hackers, we're the bouncers who catch these culprits. So there you have it, system hacking, malware threats, sniffing, social engineering, denial of service, and session hijacking. These topics may seem daunting, but remember, as ethical hackers, we use these techniques to protect, not harm. With these skills in your arsenal, you're well on your way to becoming an ethical hacker. Now, how does Linux come into the picture in ethical hacking? Well, Linux holds a pivotal role in the realm of ethical hacking. It's renowned for its security and stability, qualities that make it a preferred choice for ethical hackers worldwide. Diving deeper, various Linux distributions are specifically designed to assist in ethical hacking. For instance, Kali Linux, a popular choice, comes preloaded with a plethora of penetration testing tools. Parrot OS, another Linux distribution, is well regarded for its privacy features and a robust set of utilities for penetration testing, digital forensics and coding. Black Arch OS and Anonymous OS are other notable mentions, each offering unique tools and features tailored for ethical hacking. In essence, these Linux distributions provide a ready arsenal for ethical hackers, making their tasks more efficient and effective. Therefore, for anyone aspiring to tread the path of ethical hacking, mastering Linux is not just beneficial, it's essential. Indeed, Linux is an invaluable tool in the Ethical Hackers Toolkit. So, are you ready to embark on your journey to becoming an ethical hacker? We've covered a lot of ground today, delving into the fascinating world of ethical hacking. We've touched upon its syllabus, from its principles to the various strategies employed. We've also explored how Linux, with its multitude of specialized distributions like Kali Linux, Parrot OS, Black Arch OS, and Anonymous OS, forms an integral part of this field. These tools and knowledge are just the tip of the iceberg in your journey to becoming an ethical hacker. Continue to explore, learn, and practice. The more you understand, the better equipped you'll be to navigate the digital landscape and confront its challenges head-on. Just remember, ethical hacking is not about causing havoc, but about ensuring safety and security. It's about making the digital world a safer place. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use your ethical hacking skills to make the digital world a safer place.